أما بعد فقد قال الإمام الرضا عليه الصلاة والسلام نقلا عن آبائه الطاهرين عن الله سبحانه وتعالى أنه قال كلمة لا إله إلا الله حسني فمن دخل حسني أمن من عذابي بشرطها وشروطها وأنا من شروطها صلوات Tonight is uh, uh, the night we are commemorating the Mawlid and birth of our eighth Imam, Imam Ali ibn Musa al-Rada alayhi salatu wa salam. And uh, this is the Imam who is referred as Abu al-Hasan al-Sani. If you look at the narrations, Ilmur Riwayat, the science of narrations, and you find the narration saying, Qala al Qala Abu al-Hasan al-Sani, Abu al-Hasan II, that means Imam Rada as his kunyat in the science of narrations. And Imam Rada is also called Alim Ali Muhammad. Imam Al-Qadim alayhi salam, his father says that my father, that means Imam Salih alayhi salam, said several times that the Alim of Ali Muhammad is in your lineage, in your soul. Um, so Imam Prada is also Alim Ali Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Although, although all of the Ahlul Bayt are Alim equally and their knowledge are is similar, maybe we don't know the reason, but maybe because of the fact that how Imam Rida salam got the opportunity to spread the word of Islam and the teachings of the Holy Prophet. 20 years of his Imamat span, 17 years spent in his hometown of Medina, and the last three years he was forced to migrate by Imam Rashid's oppression, taken to his capital city of Marav which is nowadays in Turkmenistan and in these three days, three years of last three years of his life, you find it's, it's full of those blessings, how much services, how much spread of Islam, how much impact Imam Rida salam made in just in those three years on, on, on Islam, on the spread of Islam and the Muslim Ummah. 33,000 people gathered by Imam Rashid um, of various sects, scholars of various sects in his court and asked them about who is the most suitable person to be made as heir to the throne, Waliyul Ahad, and all of them agreed unanimously over the personality of Imam Rada He is the one who is, uh, who was agreed upon by the enemies and the friends both. This is an, again another unique uh, specification of Imam's personality that never happened for any other Ma'zum, uh, which is only for Imam Rida alayhi salatu was salam. Ma'mun Rashid himself has said, Ma a'lamu ahadan afdal min hadha rajul. I do not know any person who is more superior than this man. This the, the best of your, uh, is the praise is that comes from the enemy. This is the guy who later on poisons Imam Rada alayhi salam. Imam Rashid is the killer. And this is what Ayatollah Bakr al-Sadr rahmatullah used to say. We need to, every Shia needs to put himself in the shoes of Imam Rashid. Because these are the people, Banu Umayyad, Umayyads, who grab the power in the name of we are the supporters of Ahl al -Bad. we are the followers of Ahl al -Bad. we love Ahl al -Bad. we are the lineage of Abdullah ibn Abbas, that's how they call Abbasids, right? Lineage of Abdullah ibn Abbas, which is part of the extended family of the Prophet. So we are part of the Ahl al -Bad. we love Ahl al -Bad. we are support deceiving the masses, general public in the name of Ahl al -Bad and occupying the Khilafat and Walayat and government and Hukumat of Ahl al-Bayt. What Ayatollah Bakr al-Sadr said, every Shia needs to put himself in the shoes of Mahmoud Rashid. If you had the government similar to Mahmoud Rashid's government, would you hand over the government to Imam Rada 
or will you continue to exercise your own authority and usurp the Khilafat from Ahlul Bayt? Even though you claim you are a follower of Ahlul Bayt, but you are doing the Zulm on Ahlul Bayt. Occupying the Khilafat. This is, some people get a little bit control over one organization, one center, one masjid, one little thing, and they are not ready to hand it over to an alim. Forget about giving to Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. The narrations narrated by the, those who are not on the side of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, people appointed by Imam Rashid to take him to Marav, he says Imam Mahdi salam never used to, uh, he always used to sit with the slaves, sit with the poor people, eat the food along with them without any distinction. When he was asked, he said, Inna Rabb wa tabaraka wa ta'ala wahid. Certainly the Lord is one. Wal Ab wahid. The father is one. Wal Um wahida. And the mother is one. Wal jaza'u bil a'mal. And the reward is based on the actions. We need to sit together, right? We need to sit without any distinction with the people, with the slaves, with the servants, with the maids, everybody. No distinction, in other words. And never used to stretch his legs in front of the people. Basic morals which are missing in some of the people. Never used to cut off the talk of anybody. Never had never oppressed anyone. And his, you remember the story when somebody came, uh, Ibn Sabil, a person who was, uh, you know, somebody who lost his money during the travel. We call him Ibn Sabil. This guy shows up and said, Ibn uh, Rasulullah, I'm not a beggar. I just lost my money. Just like today, if you lose your wallet during the travel. So I'm not a beggar. I'm well off, but I just lost my money in the travel. This is called Ibn Sabil in Arabic. So if you please help me out at this time of need, I will go back to my hometown and give that amount of money as sadaqa on your behalf. Imam al goes inside, extends his hand over the door of the house, calls the person to take the money and leave. This guy got those 200 gold coins, 200 dinars and left. After he left, Imam al came out. People said, why did you give in this format? And Imam al salam replies, haven't you heard the Rasulullah saying that uh, don't you know that Rasulullah said that um, you know the hidden sadaqah Imam Rada is giving the hidden sadaqah right hidden sadaqah equals 770 hajj the same one dollar you give openly and if the same one dollar you give in a hidden way no one knows that it's from you you get the sawab of 70 hajj Look at the difference. So hidden sadaqah equals to 70 hajj. And open sinning makes the person insulted. And the hidden sin Allah forgives. So these are the lessons that Imam Rada is teaching. Uh, um, if you remember this story, when he was passing by uh, the city of Nishapur, and this is where he mentioned this great hadith, Silsilatul Dhahab, which is about Kalimatullah ilaha illallah hisni. That means the word of La ilaha illallah is by fortress. Allah said, hisni amina min So whoever enters my fortress, God secure from my punishment. And these are 8,000 people standing in front of Imam Sahaba in the outskirts of the city of Nishapur. Among them, al hafidhan the famous al hafidhan in Hadith, famous mem memorizers of the Hadith, the Sunni community, Abu Waz'ah and Muhammad ibn Aslam al-Tusi were among them. And this is where Imam Allah mentioned this Hadith. The word of La ilaha illallah is my fortress. Whoever enters into my fortress, Allah said, uh, God secure from my punishment. بِشَرْتِهَا وَشُرُوتِهَا with its condition and conditions. وَأَنَا مِنْ شُرُوتِهَا That means I am among this condition. That means the walayat of Imam Rada is the condition for La ilaha illallah. 
So anyone who does not fulfill his obligation towards the walayat of Imam Rida alayhi salam, even his la ilaha illallah is not accepted. And when, before I come to the end, because time, we are running out of time, uh, when Dehbal al-Khuzai came to mention his qasida, and he reaches this share, ara fay'ahum fi ghayrihim mutaqassiman wa aydiyahum an fay'ihim safarati. I see their own wealth being divided, distributed amongst others. Wa aydiyahum an fay'ihim safarati. And their own hands are void of their wealth. Which is so true. The wealth of Imam alayhi salam is the one which is usurped by the enemies. And their hands are empty from their own wealth. The wealth that belongs to them is taken up by others. And Imam alayhi salam said to Dehbal, Sadaqta ya Dehbal, ya Khuzai. And you said the truth. And then he says, Ida wutiru maddu ila watirihim that means when they are, when Ahlul Bayt are subjected to zulm, that means their hands are clasped and mm, taken um, away from doing zulm on others. And Imam alayhi salam says to him, Bala wallahi man qabidat. Yes, I swear to Allah, those are, the hands are um, clasped. And uh, at the end, Imam Rida alayhi salam adds two shair into the qasida of Dehbal. Shall I not add two bayt in your qasida and your bayt will become complete with that? And he said, definitely, Ya Ibn Rasulullah, go ahead. And Imam Rida alayhi salam adds these two shi'r in the qasida that wa qabrun bitusin ya laha min musibatin alahat ala al ahsha'i bis zafarati. So Imam alayhi salam talks about because Debal was mentioning one by one the calamities that have, had fallen over the Ahlul Bayt and Ahlul Bayt have gone through those troubles and were martyred and buried in various areas. So he came up to Imam al-Qadim and that was the last Imam martyred. Now Imam Rida is talking about his own place of martyrdom which would be Tus. Wa qabrun bi Tusin ya laha min musibatin. Or how much musibat will come for that person who is going to be buried in Tus. In other words, so he said, well, I don't see any grave in, of you, Ahlul Bayt and Tus. And Imam alayhi salam prophesizes that soon he is going to be martyred and buried in Tus. And the last mm, rhyme that Imam Rida alayhi salam added, and I will end my speech after this, is, In al-hashri hatta yab'atha Allahu qa'iman. And these calamities on Ahlul Bayt, these musibat and Troubles of Ahlul Bayt will continue till the Hashr and Resurrection. Ilal Hashr hatta yab'atha Allahu qa'iman until Allah sends the Imam Al Mahdi, Imam Al Qa'im alayhi salatu wa salam, yufarriju anna al hamma bal kurabati. And he is going to come and relieve us from the sorrow and the sufferings and the pains. The pains. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of us the tawfiq to understand and follow the ma'arif of Qur'an and Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. Allahumma ansur al-Islam wa al-Muslimin. Wa akhdul al-Kuffara wa al-Munafiqin. Allahumma ansur man nasr al-Din. Wa akhdul man khabal al-Muslimin. Allahumma ansur wa ahfad wa ayyid ulama'an al-Rabbaniyin. Wa maraji'an al-Rabbaniyin. لا سيما الولي الفقيه قاعد المسلمين اللهم انسوا جيوش المسلمين وعساكر الموحدين اللهم فك عن الأسراء المسلمين اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى وعجل في فرج مولانا صاحب الزمان 
وجعلنا من أنصاره وأشياعه وأتباعه وأعوانه بجاه محمد وآله الطاهرين